greenish skin. So close your eyes and you will find that you've arrived in Frankenstein. Perhaps the Count will find a way to make his monster work today. For if he solves this monster mania, he can return to Transylvania. So welcome where the sun won't shine to the castle of Count Frankenstein. and shout. We wish to leave this wretched place. Won't someone let us out? The people stop to have a look at this horrendous sight. They say we've never in our lives seen such display of might. But later in the evenings when all the people go, Bawana stops beside their cage and thanks them for the show. Why doesn't Vincent Price ever introduce me? Hey? I even have smog in my crystal ball. <laughs> the Oracle was casting horoscopes the other day for people born in early June and the latter part of May. He said if you were born upon the 14th day of June, hair will grow upon your face whenever it's full moon. I told him it was rubbish. What a nasty thing to say. And wondered if he knew that the 14th of June is my birthday. Griselda's cooking is to me a kind of education. Her baking should be passed around in schools across the nation. I know it seems an odd request, but one thing it would do is take her baking off my hands. Because it would be with you. <laughs> you children should be grateful, for then you truly learn the meanings of such words as sick and rancid and heartburn. Librarians are locked away. They seem to know no reason to mark the passage of the time or changing of the season. I know an old librarian who stayed in for ten years. When he stepped out, I saw him sniff and brush away some tears. He said, I just now realize, because I stayed in so long, that I've missed my ten birthdays, because they've come and now they're gone. Dr. Pet Vet said to me he thought that he would try to find the wicked animal who ate his fresh baked pie. And so he called the creatures and he placed them in a row. The zebras were the guilty ones but didn't think he'd know. But Pet Vet saw them blushing and the reason is, he said, the zebras turned from black and white to black and white and red. What? Huh? Nevermore? That's for ravens. <laughs> the professor built a centrifuge, those things you always see, the astronauts all training in and riding in for free. Two hundred spins per minute. And as you guess, it wasn't hard to get quite dizzy in it. When all his tests were finished, it was left to gather dust. But... Six months later, he decided that this seemed unjust. He turned it on its side and built some seats from scraps of steel. Now people come from miles to ride the world's fastest Ferris wheel. The castle lights are growing dim. There's no one left but me 
and him when next we meet in Frankenstone. Don't come alone. C'est fini. In total. Kaput.